I'm gonna take you through a tutorial on how to do this. Create a video for your reels, your TikToks, your YouTube shorts that has multiple versions of you, clones of you walking through it. To set this shot up, you're gonna to need to put your camera or your phone in a fixed position. As you can see here, I have mine on a tripod facing one direction. You do not want that camera to move. You want to keep it in exactly the same position for each of your video takes. Then depending on how long you want the video to be or how many times you want to walk through the video, you need to record that over and over again. Change costume in between, do something different in between, whatever it is you want to do, get creative here. Now here's some examples of me recording those shots. Now where you can, try not to do just one take. As you can see, for each different shot where I changed a different color t-shirt, I did three or four different walkthroughs. This is so you have more to pick from when you come to edit. This is a top tip here where you can try to control the lighting as much as you can. As you walk through, the lighting will change. Uh, the least amount of change you can get in the lighting, the better the effect will be at the end. Once you set up your camera, you're happy with all of your recordings of you walking through that same shot in multiple different ways, it's time to edit. In the Simply Create office, ready to start editing, but before we get started, you need to know that you're going to need the video editing software or app. You can't just use TikTok or Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts to create this video. The reason is you need to be able to layer a video on top of a video and you also need to be able to crop. On my computer, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. You can also use Adobe Rush and that's for tablets and phones, but you need to pay for those. So a couple of apps that I know of and software that are for free is there's uh, DaVinci Resolve. Um, you can also use AppsWise, uh, Velo, InShot or CapCut. Now I'm gonna share my screen with you and show you how you edit this type of video. First of all, drag the different takes you did. So obviously I've named them after my different color t-shirts uh, and you wanna drag them all in so they're all on your timeline. So we're going to go through each one. So we're going to go through this one and find the one that you want to keep. So let's say I want to keep that one. You know, just before I enter the room, yeah, press C on your keyboard. Uh, then you can cut that and that. And then you can get rid of all the rest once you've picked the one. So in the end, you should end up with different types of the same shot. But as you can see, that's one after the other, and that's not what we want one after the other. And this is where you need layers, because this one is going to need to go under this one, this one is going to go under this one, and this one is going to need to go under this one. Still can't see, because whatever video layer is at the top is the one that it will show. So uh, here, so you can see, I'm going to lower the opacity, uh, come up here to your effects controls, uh, open up your opacity, and if you just lower that down, and you find a place where, there you go, you can see, start to see that I move in as I walk there, that I also walk there. And that's, uh, the first one was with the blue t-shirt, the second one was with the black t-shirt. But that's just to show you, I made it see, like a bit see-through so you can see. Now you wanna line it up to where, exactly where you want it. So it gets a bit fiddly, obviously this is the bit that takes time. So there we go, so we're both in shot there. So. Now, if I turn the opacity back up, as you can see, you can only see one of me, you can't see the one underneath me. And this is where we either need to crop or we need to mask to crop. So go over to your effects, hit crop, uh, type in crop in your effects bar, drag a crop, or you can double uh, click it if um, your video is selected. And then from there, you can pull whichever side or whatever you're trying to. So let's say we're pulling from the left left crop there we go i mean which is exactly what we want and if we carry that through but as you see if it hits there as it all oh, that's not too bad but you can see a line there and it starts to delete some of it because it holds it so what you want to do is feather that line a little bit which is edge feather down the bottom here and if you feather it you can see it kind of starts to blur in but again it blurs me the top layer me and it then blurs a little bit of the bottom layer me so what you might need to do is do different cuts for that crop. So as an example, let's get rid of um, the crop so at the moment. So, so first of all, you're gonna have to crop as I step in. So as you can see that foot in the bottom corner there, otherwise I'll just appear and you want it to look like they're walking through. So you go back a few, just pressing the arrow keys, you go back a few frames. There we go. So that's gonna be the first cut. Then I'm gonna, 
start walking at where there's a nice gap so let's say there so here i'm gonna pull left again just to make the two see what that looks like put the opacity up right then as it there i need to make another one so i'll cut here and i'll pull that a little bit more so you can't see and then I disappear again because I haven't got the crop on. Uh, I haven't got the crop on. There we go. To there. Hopefully that will be the one. All you need. So now we've got we've got a couple of cuts in there. This is using the crop. And if we just play that back, I walk. I come in. I walk. And there we go. And then obviously you have to continue that on each of those. And then you're going to want to do that crop for every single take that you've done. Uh, make sure you're picking the right moments, doing the crop, and then I've added an adjustment layer on here to try and get the color as accurate and as least amount of lighting changes as possible. It will take you a little while, but once you've done that, it will look something like this. Once you are done and happy with your edit, export it in the right dimension, probably nine by 16 if it's for TikTok, Reels, or Shorts. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to tap, tap, tap that like button. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, if there are any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to them and be as helpful as I can. And as always, from Simply Create, thank you for watching.